We usually all get together in my house in front of my computer and record a bunch of random guitar riffs. From there, I'll take those riffs and put them together, kind of like a puzzle. And then we'll put drums to it, bass, leads, and then send them off to our singer, Obi. We usually get together at Dave's studio and all come up with riffs, as well as coming up with ideas at home in our own home studios. I'm a huge deathcore fan, and I try to write as many breakdowns for the songs as I can. And then as the writing progresses, we fine tune and add new sections or replace parts that overall fit better with the track. Then once the drums and guitars are down, we add bass, leads, and vocals. We are constantly thinking of ideas to make each track as best as it can all the way through until the finished product. So for the writing process, it's basically uh, what Dave said. It's, you know, we go to his studio, we get together, and it just starts with jamming out, you know, random guitar riffs and uh, you know we'll come up with uh, just anything that we can think of on the spot and then uh, yeah Dave will put the song together and um, actually you know kind of uh, form a structure and then from there like he'll send it back to us and then I will kind of hear where what direction the song is going and then I can kind of uh, refine the guitars and start adding the fun stuff which is like you know the layers and the melodies and solos and then I send it back to the guys and we kind of just keep balancing ideas until we have a final product. We started writing The Everlasting Plague after we got home from the spring decimation tour with Pyrexia that was unfortunately canceled from COVID and finished writing around October. The technicality of the band's music has been top notch over all the albums and we continue to uphold that level with The Everlasting Plague. Zach Oren recorded, mixed and mastered The Everlasting Plague. Uh, he recorded it up in Shark Bite Studios in Oakland, which is formerly Castle Ultimate Studios. Uh, he's worked with so many prominent bands and bands that I really like, from All Shall Perish to Molotov Solution to First Blood to Float Face Down and His Blood Runs Black and many more bands. He's an excellent producer and an awesome guy.